In this video, we will use the Microchip Polarfire SOC Octo BSP to build the Linux and Free RTOS AMP demo. The demo contains two applications that demonstrate how to communicate between the Linux and Free RTOS contexts using the RP message framework. Before proceeding with the steps shown in this video, make sure you have the Polarfire SOC Yocto BSP set up on your machine. For an extensive description on how to set up the microchips Yocto BSP, please watch the videos linked in the description below. Now that we have the Polarfire SOC Yocto BSP set up in our machine, let's have a quick overview of the AMP support. Inside the root folder of the Yocto BSP, there is a conf directory and a machine directory, which contain the IcicleKit ESAMP machine configuration file. We are going to use this configuration file to build images for the IcicleKit in AMP mode. Inside the recipes AMP directory, there is an MPFS AMP examples recipe, which is used by the AMP machine to build the Polarfire SOC Free RTOS AMP application using Yocto. The Free RTOS AMP application built by the MPFS AMP examples recipe can be found on the Polarfire SOC GitHub in the Polarfire SOC AMP examples repository. The link to this repository is also provided in the description below. Now it is time to source the Polarfire SOC Yocto setup script from the main folder. We have now changed directory to the build folder. Now we are ready to build the AMP demo. For that, we are going to use the IcicleKit ES AMP machine target. We can start the build process by typing the following command. This will build the MPFS dev CLI image using the IcicleKit ES AMP machine target. Now that the build process has finished, we can examine the deploy folder. In the deploy folder, we will find a directory related to each machine. Inside the IcicleKit ESAMP directory, we will find a WIC image that we will write to the EMMC on the IcicleKit. There is also a compressed version with a smaller footprint. The WIC image we just built using Yocto contains the following partitions a boot partition with a fit image containing the Linux kernel and the device tree blob used by context A, an HSS boot partition with an HSS payload containing a U-boot binary used by context A, and a free RTOS RP message application used by context B. And finally, it contains a Linux root file system used by context A.